Benefer 2.0 is now officially over. Everyone seemed to be rooting for the star couple, but there were loads of red flags that proved the relationship was doomed. We're totally different people now, and we're the same. From Affleck's grumpy expressions to J. Lo's strikingly different approach to publicity, here are the major warning signs you might have missed. What can I tell you? We're just having a good time. Let's dive in. Sad Fleck. When someone is married to the love of their lives, they are not supposed to look miserable. But that wasn't the case for Ben Affleck at last year's Grammy Awards. Cameras snapped him somberly sitting next to his new wife of six months. These photos and videos quickly became viral, sparking a wave of memes. Social media users couldn't resist sharing their theories about why Ben seemed so unhappy. They were also quick to point out a tense moment between him and Jennifer Lopez. The actor later tried to explain that the internet had completely misinterpreted the situation. With a heroic sense of humor, Affleck poked fun at his unimpressed look. I have a very unhappy looking resting face. <laughs> I I, you that's how God made me. It's you don't have to punish about me. That. However, many fans kept believing there was some trouble in paradise because the warning signs started appearing long before that. The near nuptials. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck were first set to get married back in 2003. Over 200 guests were going to come to Santa Barbara for their big day. The wedding preparations reportedly cost over $2.5 million, but the event was called off just days before the two were set to tie the knot. An official reason was excessive media attention. Big wedding plan, like 14 ushers and bridesmaids, and three days before, we just crumbled under the pressure. Both Jennifer and Ben implied that the wedding wasn't canceled, but only postponed. However, just four months later, the couple called it quits. They moved on to date and then marry other people, and then somehow found each other again two decades later. But why their second go-round should have been different? as both Lopez and Affleck didn't exactly have a history of stable relationships. Love on repeat. J. Lo had always had a man at her side. I always thought that I was gonna find happiness and love out. Another person was gonna give that to me. Her relationship with Ben began shortly after her split from her then husband, Chris Judd. And she married Mark Antony in about six months after her official split from Affleck. 34-year-old Jennifer Lopez said, I do, for the third time in six years. Ben and Jen rekindled their romance in 2021, just weeks after her breakup from Alex Rodriguez. Well, her lengthy failed relationship's history might raise some eyebrows, but Affleck couldn't be called a model partner too. His dark side. Ben and Jennifer Garner were together for more than 10 years and have three kids, Violet, Finn, and Samuel. Sadly, Ben's struggles with substance abuse and mood swings put a strain on their union. Soon after their split, Jennifer admitted that too. When his sun shines on you, you feel it. But when the sun is shining elsewhere, it's cold. He can cast quite a shadow. Following the divorce, the actors continued to co-parent their children peacefully. However, in a 2021 interview, Affleck shockingly blamed his troubles with alcohol on his marriage with Garner. Part of why I started drinking alcohol was I was trapped. You know, I was like, I can't leave because of my kids, but I'm not happy. What do I do? Moreover, he suggested that he wouldn't be sober if he were still married to her. Affleck later explained that his comments were misinterpreted. But anyway, that was a nasty thing to say such hurtful words about the mother of one's children. So was he really ready for a new committed relationship? A clash of priorities. Life in the limelight is demanding, and true privacy is a rare thing in showbiz. Ben has never been fond of media attention. His longtime friend and colleague Matt Damon confirmed that in a conversation with Casey, Affleck's brother. I can't imagine living under that kind of scrutiny for, you know, and it's been like that for 25 years. And we've had yeah. careers in a lot of ways. And so uh, it, it's, I do, I'm fortunate to have, to have been kind of excused from that that part yeah. of However, J. Lo has always embraced her celebrity status. Ben visibly struggled with her desire to publicize their relationship. He even admitted that in her documentary. Getting back together, 
The only thing Affleck didn't want was a relationship on social media. The things that are private, I had always felt, are sacred and special because, in part, they're private. Lopez seemed to appreciate her fiancé's support and acknowledged all his efforts. I don't think he's very comfortable with me doing all of this, but he loves me, he knows I'm an artist, and he's gonna support me in every way he can, but that doesn't mean he's, you know, kind of comfortable being the muse. The performer also stressed how much more mature they had become. However, viewers of the documentary got the impression that Ben had to compromise more than his better half. I did really find the beauty and the poetry and the irony in the fact that it's the greatest love story never told. And if you're making a record about it, <laughs> that seems kind of like telling it. Still, there was one thing that definitely caused tension in their relationship. Penn Affleck. For their first Christmas together after they reunited, Affleck presented J. Lo with a special gift. He took their correspondence, every letter and email they had written over 20 years, and put it in a memory book. He titled it, The Greatest Love Story Never Told. It became an inspiration for Jennifer's first studio album in a decade. Lopez didn't work on it alone, though. I showed everybody this book. It became like our Bible, and we just left it there in the studio, and people would thumb through it. Ben was totally out of his comfort zone when he learned about that. You've been showing all the musicians all those letters that, uh, and they were like, yeah, we, we call you Penn Affleck. And I was like, oh. He seemed to understand Jen's reasons and took an active part in both the music film and the documentary. But for many observers, that was the moment when all went wrong for Benifer. Still, others thought it might have happened much earlier. A rushed wedding. After the full two decades, it finally happened. In July 2022, Ben and Jennifer eloped to Vegas to quickly say their I do's. Those Vegas weddings, they stick. They, stick. they do? They, oh, good. Like, like, yeah. Thank like you. Fly paper. And that move surprised not only fans, but the close circle as well. Was it because of the scare someone could get cold feet the night before a huge ceremony? Or did they both start feeling the same pressure as in 2003? This speedy wedding seemed to be so spontaneous that J. Lo's son Max wasn't in attendance. And so were Ben's two children. Only his second eldest child, Finn, and Lopez's Emmy were with in Vegas. According to insiders, Violet Affleck didn't want to attend. Ben allegedly told his ex-wife about his plans, but she couldn't make it because the timing was too tight. After that hasty wedding, the couple had a much bigger celebration a couple of weeks later. However, signs of trouble in paradise were becoming increasingly evident. Honeymoon Blues The couple's two honeymoons included numerous public outings packed with PDA and shopping. And of course, there were cameras capturing it all. An insider shared that Ben wasn't pleased about it. He was unhappy with paparazzi following them. She is an international superstar, and he acted like it came as a surprise that they would be followed around. The Afflecks appeared affectionate in front of the cameras. Behind the scenes, they would barely speak to each other during what was supposed to be the happiest time of their life. The whirlwind romance seemed to have fizzled out as soon as they got hitched. It was as if the newlyweds had no other goals as a couple. After returning from European getaway, Jennifer and Ben reportedly began living separate lives. A career divide. No one can deny that J. Lo is a workaholic with a constant stream of projects. Since she and Ben got together again, Lopez appeared in Shotgun Wedding, The Mother, This Is Me Now, and Atlas. It's something about, like, people love seeing you. They like seeing me do the action -y thing. As for Affleck, he starred in Air and Hypnotic and produced The Instigators. He also just wrapped filming The Accountant 2 mere days before their Georgian wedding. So most of the time, the two were on completely different pages. Additionally, Ben seemed to lose interest in supporting his wife's career. When J. Lo appeared solo at the Met Gala, it raised a few brows. At the time, it was explained that Affleck just needed a break from the red carpets and excessive publicity. But now we know that by the time the couple have already separated, and there were all the other million clues that their marriage was in trouble. The warning signs. There were so many of them, but let's recall the most memorable. 
In May, Jennifer sparked divorce rumors by liking an Instagram post of a relationship coach. Next, a viral video showed Ben dramatically slamming a car door on Jen. The stories of the marital troubles multiplied each week. They put their Beverly Hills mention up for sale. Ben bought his own house in Brentwood, then Jennifer was caught house hunting as well. Tabloids obsessively documented if they were still wearing their wedding rings. Then, Lopez suddenly canceled her US tour, citing the need to be with her family as an excuse. Finally, the diva celebrated her birthday in a Bridgerton-themed party without Affleck among the attendees. However, many fans remained hopeful that Benifer were still an item. The Inevitable The actress and singer filed for divorce on August 20th. The symbolic date was chosen deliberately, as it marked the second anniversary of their lavish Georgian wedding. Even amid heartbreak, Jen knows how to put on a show. The actress filed the petition in person, without a lawyer. She also requested to change her name back to Jennifer Lynn Lopez from Jennifer Lynn Affleck. For better or worse, the fairy tale is now over. But what's ahead is the potentially long and messy divorce process, as the former couple didn't have a prenup. What's the etiquette here? Does JLo have to give back that ring? She does not have to give back the ring. Apparently, they genuinely believed this was a forever marriage. And what do you think about it? Is there a chance Ben and Jennifer stay friends after all? Share with us in the comments. And stay awesome.